Yo, I'm making some espresso. You want some? What? Espresso. Do you want some? Yeah, I'll have some. For example, one day I was on the bus, right before Christmas. The bus is completely full and people are still waiting to get on. And the bus driver comes back up into the bus and asks if anyone would stand up for the whole ride so this woman and her child, sight unseen mind you, could sit down. Before I could volunteer, some schmuck from the front of the bus jumps right up without hesitation. For half the ride, I try to understand how someone could do that so quickly and without hesitation. And it finally occurred to me why. He's probably such a despicable person the rest of the year that he has to do something to be able to pacify his conscience. He has to be able to think to himself, at least I gave that woman and her child my seat. At least I got up for them. At least I did that. No matter what else I do, at least I did that. I can't be all bad. He couldn't just be a nice guy. It never even crossed my mind. Alright, let's forget about what this guy was. Let's, let's talk about the script. I know what you're gonna say. It's... Yeah. Do you use the name John too many times? Too many what? The name. You keep using it again, again, again in the dialogue. I can change it. I'll use Fred. Fred? You're missing the point. It's not about Fred. It's not about John. The point is that the repetition of it, you know, you you have these, this dialogue between two people who've known each other for a while, so it seems, and they're always, they're always using the name and whatever they say. It's so but formal. The, it's so pointless. They're talking to each other. Yeah, that's the point. It's dialogue. It's supposed to be people talking to each other, and you miss out on the context. Uh, but the names are irrelevant if the people know each other. They don't, we don't repeat our names to each other all the time when we're talking to each other. Why should they? That's dialogue. Come on, I want to show you something. So I just found this last week. Come on, tell me more. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. This is from 15 years ago. You remember these guys? I remember that one guy who looks like David Koresh. <laughs> I was letting Eric film this. See, I thought he was doing a bad job, so I took it off him. Okay, and now I'm filming. You see, why am I filming the bass player? He's not doing anything. We, and now I move it to him, but I just leave it on him. Do you see? No, I'm seeing something from 15 years ago. Yeah, but at why the time, at the time, I thought it was perfect. I was so sure that, that he was doing a bad job, then I took it off him. I don't get you. Only now, 15 years later, only now do I realize I, I, was su I suck. <laughs> you did a rotten job. Right, okay, let me try rephrasing this. I understand the concept and yes. Yes. I know how bad your filming is. I mean, I remember, I remember fame. I know how bad at it you are. I do. 
This is not new. Oh shit, I forgot about the espresso. Okay, you see what's happening? If you don't do this, mm -hmm. the espresso tastes burnt. That's annoying. Yeah, I don't make it that often. Usually I just have coffee at this uh, coffee shop in Union Square. Right. I hate that place. Yeah, well, there's this cute girl I like that works there. So I go in and have coffee a lot. Then, if you ask this girl out, you wouldn't have to go in there anymore. Yeah, right. I go in and I ask her out, and, of course, reality is not going to match what I have in my head. It's ridiculous. Besides, they have this really good peanut butter chocolate combo thing. It's yummy. Anyway, if you're in the area, you should check it out. There's some really bad art on the walls. It's really cliched and pretentious. Little phrases like, don't read this, and this space intentionally left blank. Anyhow, there's a war going on in the bathroom. A graffiti war. Someone wrote that the artist sucks, right? And someone crossed out sucks and wrote, is great. And that kept going, back and forth. Did you get this? I was thinking, like, how great to be able to polarize the public like that, to get people to love it and hate it and have totally passionate opinions about it. Then, one day, I saw the guy that painted the pictures coming out of the bathroom with a pen. He writes his name really big, which means no style of his own. This coffee sucks. This coffee's great. Yeah. Machine makes pretty lousy coffee. Why do you keep using it then? <laughs>